Every year you can feel it. The holiday season is special. This next story captures that feeling beautifully. COVID-19 had a triad woman in its clutches. Her family wasn't sure she would survive. Something that kept her smiling was Christmas lights. It's the same thing that saved her life. WFMY News 2's Hannah Jeffries shares her story. We call it the most wonderful time of the year, except when it comes ahead of a family's worst nightmare. Medically, I shouldn't be here, but we serve an awesome physician on uh, Jesus Christ, and that's the reason why I'm here. In the fall of 2021, Jennifer Shelton fought a severe case of COVID-19. The Eden woman was on a ventilator, and at the time, her doctors didn't know if she'd make it another day, let alone until Christmas. When I woke up, I was like, where am I? You know, I didn't know where I was. Of course, my family went with with me. Even though Jennifer's family couldn't be at the hospital because of COVID restrictions, she was all they thought about. There was there were several nights it was like that. You know, is she coming home? Determined that Jennifer would make it home, her husband Neil got busy making her a welcome home display with lights that moved to her favorite song. I knew that he was excited to have me home. I didn't know he was that excited to have me home. <laughs> Seeing how much joy the lights brought his wife, he decided to make an even bigger display for everyone who passes by. Last year we actually was around 8,500 LED lights. This year we're probably around 13,500. So we've added about 5,000. When it gets dark, cars line up along Wilson Street to see the decked out yard with lights moving to their favorite Christmas song. Jennifer talks with those who stop, hoping the song lyrics and animations will remind them of the true meaning of Christmas. It's about realizing that you need Jesus and realizing that you need family and friends to carry you through the good times and the bad. Boy, incredible story, Hannah. And so they're actually doing a lot more than, than just this for themselves. I mean, right. they're raising money for others, too. Yeah, they're definitely giving it, giving back. They have a little box that is bolted to their mailbox for donations. And so anyone who comes by and enjoys the lights can put a little donation in there. And Jennifer was actually a exceptional children's teacher for many years at Moorhead High School and Rockingham High School. So that population is very special to her. So they're taking all those donations and giving it to a ministry that deals with people with special needs. Incredible. There's so much love to go around and when you see those lights it really is a special celebration, celebration of life and yes. celebration of joy as well. And not only that, the family has endured some even more medical challenges this year, but they're able to overcome that too. Yes, Jennifer actually shared with me that her son did have cancer and he got a clean report here recently, so we're beyond thankful for that. Um, it's been a lot of challenges in their family the past few years, but it really stood out to me that they're just so optimistic and that is just amazing, truly. Someone should be grateful for. Great story, Hannah, thank you.